Perfect, everybody. So remember, I asked you to ask me questions on Instagram, and so I'm gonna be answering them in this video, but this is also a vlog, which uh, some people also asked for, so... What I have planned today is I'm go I am just have to go to the post office, but I'm waiting for another for another parcel. And then I'm going to the pool. I don't, I'm not sure how I'm gonna film that. So if you don't know, I'm learning to, to swim, and I still kind of suck at it, but, but I can back with you to go to the swimming pool, right? Okay, let's maybe answer one question first. My co-worker thinks Ukraine is full of Nazis. How would I tell him to shut the f*** up? So, I have accepted that some people will be like this. This used to make me feel... well, it does still make me feel angry, but I kind of accepted uh, this. So I'm kind of using the situation as an indicator to see who is who. If you know someone for a long time, like for example your co-worker, right? You might have thought, maybe they are dumb, right? But now you just start talking about Ukraine and they tell you your, their opinion and now you know for sure that they are dumb, right? So you just don't talk to them. If you can argue with them and they sort of can agree with something and you can change their mind, that's great. But in most cases you just can't because people think that you are brainwashed and not them. And that's the problem, right? Yeah, I would just use it to see if the person's sane or insane. All right, I need a towel. This towel sucks, but it like kind of doesn't take space at all. So whatever, it's fine. Su swimming. S swim. S next, swimwear. Next, swimwear. Ta da! Swimming cap and goggles. I just learned this word, so. Goggles. These are okay, but this is just terrifying. It's so fucking ugly. <laughs> like, what is this? Am I going to listen to music? What the fuck? But it's very comfortable. Even though it, like, these dots leave, like, red marks on my forehead and I look like I have a rash. What was it? What is the word? Shower gel, hair conditioner. And I need to refill this. This is I put my shampoo here and uh, it's from Muji. I don't know if you have to use it once and then uh, throw it away. I don't throw it away because I really like it. And we don't have Muji here, so I won't be able to buy another one. I put all of this here. This is a bag to like keep the everything that's wet. You put it here and then it's not just all over your backpack. Are you tired of watching boring shows because you don't have access to interesting ones? And what about spending all of those hours changing passwords because your data was stolen by a hacker? What a waste of time! But don't worry, I have a solution for you! The sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. Did you know, by the way, that the governments are using your devices to track your location, movements, and in some countries, your internet activity? Just imagine this, it's a nice evening, you're home alone, you just want to spend some time on your own with yourself and you don't want to be caught while spending your alone time. And one of the best ways to keep your online browsing activity private is by using ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes 100% of your network traffic through their secure encrypted servers. And of course, everyone's favorite thing about ExpressVPN, it gives you an unrestricted access to all of the content that is unavailable in your country. Plus, it is so, so easy to use. There's this show on Netflix that I want to watch, but I don't have access to it while I'm in Ukraine. So I just changed my online location to the US, for example, click the connect button and now it's right here. And even if you're in the US or live somewhere else, it is still useful because there are 94 countries to choose from and lots of other Netflix libraries. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below, expressvpn.com slash aluna. And thank you so much to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. And then I saw in some video that you should put your goggles, that's <laughs> just a stupid word, <laughs> like in here. And then, yeah, you carry it like that. And then I also put here my swimsuit <laughs> slippers. I guess I can answer one more question. Although you speak Russian, I guess. 
uh, have you think to switch to Ukrainian because of war? So you are correct, I do speak Russian still. I don't think I will switch anytime soon because that will be very uncomfortable for me. I mean, good for people who are switching to Ukrainian right now. You know, there's, there's also this propaganda that Ukrainians hated Russian language always, even before the war, and uh, we hated Russians and all of that. I mean, they're doing a great job to make us start hating them, right? But before this, like most of people I know spoke Russian and their propaganda is like that we can't freely speak Russian or like we will be like discriminated or whatever I don't I don't know it's so much bullshit but I have always spoke Russian and I didn't have any problems nobody hated me for that and right now even Nobody is making me or, or forcing me to speak Ukrainian because I am free in my country and I can speak whatever language I want. There's more questions about the language, but I'm gonna answer them a little bit later. And right now, I guess, let's go to the post office because I need to pack all of this in a backpack and I ordered a new backpack. So let's see if it's good enough for me to pick it up. i show you it as well. So. Wow, vlogging is fun. Especially when I can't show you my surroundings. Okay, Google, gaming light on. Got it. Turning on two lights. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever, this works. Okay, so I ordered from Adidas, like I said, a backpack to like carry my stuff to the gym. I know some people are using just bags and I just, I, I am not gonna do this to my back. So I always pick health. And this one should be bigger than my pre... It's way too big. <laughs> it's so big, that's what she said. Oh, well, it's kind of okay, actually. I like it. I'm gonna bring it today. Anyway, then I also got these shorts. They fit! Do you ever feel you need to be numbed to the tragedy or else you, your mind breaks? This is a very interesting question and I really liked it because this is exactly, I think, what is happening to me right now. I do feel numb, like I'm... Like I'm aware of what's happening, but because in my city everything is like more or less back to normal, I just feel like it the surroundings tricked my mind because my brain got used to one routine and the war obviously got, got me out of this routine and then I, if I surround myself enough with what I do every day it kind of thinks that everything is fine and it's easier for the brain to think that everything is sort of okay and like to go on with life while I'm still constantly reminded of what's happening by sirens news and all of that and like uh, a couple of days ago I heard explosions. It kind of helps to, you know, to feel okay sometimes. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's okay, I don't know if it's not. I'm just like, uh, like, I feel like everyone is confused right now. They don't know what to feel and they don't know what to think and how much attention do you pay to the bad things without like actually destroying your mind completely, you know? Okay, I'm gonna finish packing this now. I'll try to film something there, but I don't... Probably I'll just walk out and be like, okay, my workout is done, <laughs> you know? But what can you do? So I accidentally went to two workouts, not one. So now I'm gonna go pick up some food and go home and chill finally. Hello, so it's like a different day and I'm about to stream. Now I'm gonna just tell my mods that I'm about to stream. I stream soon. So I didn't really film the vlog yesterday because I didn't feel good, but I was like at the some shashlik place. I don't know what to call it. So it's like someone's friends and I was just there and it was kind of nice. We ate. There was this funny cat. Let me know if you want to see more things like that. Is COVID still a concern or everything is eclipsed by war? Understandably. So I don't know if everyone feels this way, but I still feel like unprotected <laughs> when I'm like in public places and not wearing a mask, but nobody's wearing a mask. There are still signs that you have to wear a mask, but nobody's wearing a mask. I guess COVID is like sort of over here? Do you think life could ever return to normal after this? Well, we're affected everyone differently, you know? But I feel like for every Ukrainian, we just feel that 
Ukraine is just gonna become stronger and better. There's just no other way. We just we just know it. And finally, we won't feel like we're left behind. Did your daily life change? Do shops, cafes, etc. work like they used to? At first everything closed, everything was like very empty and uh, it felt really anxious and right now because businesses have to still continue working and, and we, we have to like continue keeping the economy on some level shops have to work cafes have to work and it's all to like to like help ukraine fight so i if anything the city has become even more alive also because a lot of people are moving here from the hot spots and uh, it's just a lot more people around so yeah everything works all right, turning two lights on. Hi! Hi, everyone! Also, I'm filming you for a vlog, so... Smile and say hello. Hi, vlog! Oh! <gasps> We can answer one question live. Give any advice for people in their 20s. Any advice for people in their 20s, Chad? I would say don't do drugs and check, check your info a million times before you trust it. Like any info you receive, don't just blindly accept it, you know? Wear condoms! True, wear condoms! Well, maybe someone wants to get pregnant when they're 20. Don't be sad. Don't drink, do drugs, or watch anime. Thank you, vlog. Th I mean, thank you, Chad. Again, say hi to the vlog and smile.